What's up guys, Scotcher here, and today we'll be going over certain bug fixes and a three month roadmap. So we've got a little bit to talk about here, customization for our characters, new modes and some bug fixes. Before we get into all the juicy news, if you could drop a like it would really help me out and without further ado, let's get straight into it. So as you can see, a lot of the World War Z community have been getting in touch with all the major known issues and Sabre are doing the utmost to solve these problems. PC users have caught the short straw and got hit with the most issues. Game crashes before even getting into the main menu, not being able to invite and play with your friends, players losing their progression after game crashes, they are trying to give an alternative way to save your game by on-screen instructions would advise to save each time you load a mission. Game freezes when certain symbols in chat and to top all that off there are some key binding issues. They are trying to resolve this as quick as possible so I'll keep you posted when the next release for these issues are. Jumping over to the PS4 and they seem to have solved most of these issues on the last update. On only that to keep it reoccurring is losing progression when changing your PSN name. So I advise you not to do that just until this is fixed. Another short one for Xbox users. Uh, they are well aware on the issues of players unable to progress the key of the city after protecting the search team objective. Overall, most players are still trying to get their hands on that pre order bundle Lobo pack. I believe most users have got, got the. Uh, pre-order pack but unfortunately there are some other people that generally don't have that yet they are trying to solve this the same with players unable to receive the weapon XP I know there are a lot of problems at the moment and for certain users but on a brighter note World War Z have released a free update roadmap on their Twitter page and it has some juicy stuff on there we already have gone over the new mission and the new zombies in my previous update video, so I'll link that in my description. So over a 3 month period they will be releasing little bits and bobs to keep us busy. Starting off with the new weapons, they'll be adding several new weapons, some melee and some ranged weapons. To follow that, certain weapons will be getting variants to grind for, so if you have maximised all your weapons, hopefully these variants are something to grind for. They have gone all out with the customization and will be adding in new character skins for our beloved four chapter characters to follow that they're getting iconic accessories for each character too. As you can see on the picture, they'll be very bold and bright. On the final part of the roadmap, they'll be adding an even harder difficulty as, as if it's not even hard enough, but it will give us more opportunity to grind for those weapon XP and those suppliers. Each week they, each week they will be add challenges to aim for so it's not just re rinse and repeat of playing the same missions over and over again. I don't know what you guys think but I'm pretty excited for this and over the three months I can't wait to see it. If you guys are as excited as what I am please leave a comment down below and tell me how excited you are. So now that about rounds it up. I'll be the channel to watch out for for the best news on World War Z so if you want to keep up to date don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I've been Scotcher and I'll catch you in the next one.